The Palm Sunday story speaks a second message that God spoke to the earth back then, and I believe he's speaking this same message to the earth today, and it's this, that Jesus is still our king. He is on the throne. Jesus is still our king, and he is on the throne. Let's look at verse 35 in our, in our story. And the disciples brought the donkey colt to Jesus, and throwing their cloaks on the colt, they set Jesus on it, and as he rode along, they spread their cloaks on the road. And, and as he was drawing near, the whole multitude of his disciples began to rejoice and praise God with a loud voice for all the mighty works they had seen, saying, Blessed is the King who comes in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven and glory in the highest. And some of the Pharisees in the crowd said, Teacher, rebuke your disciples. And he answered them, I tell you, if these were silent, the very stones would cry out. Have no doubt about it, my friends, and anyone listened, listening to me right now, don't you doubt this. Jesus is the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Now, I know this language of kings is odd for many of us. Some of you are, are channeling your, your Monty Python right now. King? I didn't know he had a king. I didn't vote for him. But you do have a king. Jesus died for the world at his first coming. And my friends, when he comes a second time, and he promised he would, he will rule this world. It will be, as Tolkien wrote, the return of the king. Now, I want you to notice, Jesus did not deny the claim. He didn't tell the disciples, oh, be quiet, guys, that's not true, I'm not the king. He didn't say that. And we see this with Jesus throughout the Gospels. You know, everywhere else in the Bible, when God would appear, you know, either to an angel or someone great, they, and they fall before them. They, Get back up. I'm not God. Worship God alone. Not Jesus. Every time someone comes to him to worship him or to fall before him, you know what Jesus does? He accepts it. Peter says to Jesus, you are the Christ. And Jesus praises him. Thomas says, my Lord and my God. When he beholds the wounds on his, on his side and in his hands. And Jesus blesses him. And says, blessed are those who don't see and yet believe. Trust me, my, my friend, Jesus Christ is not, not a, a swear word for you to bandy around and sling around. The name of Jesus Christ is the only name under heaven by which we can be saved. And he is worthy of your worship because he is your king. 